What's up, YouTube? It's your man, Big Nard, back at it again. I'm about to check out um, this uh, TMZ post. Um, they had Kanye in there, I guess, giving him an interview. And it was all kind of madness uh, with uh, both what he was saying and uh, the response to, I believe, one of the uh, TMZ um, black employees. I'm not sure who the brother is, um, but uh, he sort of challenged Kanye. And this is the extended uh, cut. Let's go ahead and delve in. Based on what yeah. you just said here, yeah. it sounds to me you got precisely the reaction you wanted by wearing that hat. Because everybody talking about, I can't escape this Kanye shit. You know what I'm saying? I jump on YouTube, Kanye this, Kanye, you know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't you want a reaction. You wanted a reaction. No. You knew there was oh. going to be a reaction. I knew there was going to be a reaction, but I'm just living my life day by day doing what I feel and what the spirit calls upon me to do. But it also but you opens that you up this dialogue you. that you're not apologizing because everybody else, when they make a statement like that, they end up apologizing because they're so worried about what people say on social media. Well, you know why? You know why when I went to visit him the first time, um, I, I, I right after the election. Yeah, and I, I took the tweets yeah, yeah. down and everything. Yeah. Because I was drugged the fuck out, bro. I was drugged out. <laughs> I was on opioids. <laughs> Two days after. I oh, got that's not funny, man. People that's on their medication and they got to take all this other stuff. Hey. Off of opioids, and I was addicted to opioids. Two days I got off of opioids. I'm. I'm in the hospital, right? I'm taking two. Hey, everyone listen to this, please. And they said, fuck what y'all doing. <laughs> fuck your computers. Shut down your laptops. All that shit. Two days before I was in the hospital, I was on opioids. I was addicted to opioids. I had plastic surgery. Like, is this good or bad for his career? I don't know. What because I was trying to look good for y'all. I got liposuction. Because I didn't want y'all to call me. That nigga said he got liposuction. He fat like y'all called Rob at the wedding and made him fly home before me and Kim got married. I didn't want y'all to call me fat, so I got liposuction, right? And they gave me opioids, right? And I started taking two of them and then driving to work on the opioids, right? Then my boy, and I'd always ask my boy, uh, you know, to, to hand me if it's, uh, you know, we on tour, give me some weed, blah, blah, blah. So he had to go give me the opioids. And there was talks amongst my camp, like, yeah, he's popping, yeah, he's popping pills, right? So when he handed to me, this to me, he said, you know this is used to kill genius, right? So I didn't take it. Two days later, I'm in a hospital. I was taking two pills a day at that time. When I left the hospital, how many pills you think I was given? Seven. I went from taking two pills to taking seven. So the reason why I did not, why I dropped those tweets and everything, because I was drugged the fuck out, bro. And I'm not drugged out. This, these pills that they want me to take three of a day, I take one a week, maybe, two a week. Y'all had me scared of myself, of my vision. So I took some pills so I wouldn't go to the hospital and prove everyone right. We are drugged out. We are following other people's opinions. We are controlled by the media. And today it all changes. You got Tupac and Lennon in that hallway. Today it all changes. We need to think how to think free. We need to be free thinkers. Then we need to learn how to feel free. People say feel free, but we don't even know how to feel free or think free. Say what you feel. Positive or negative. I just got off the phone with J. Cole. He said, how do you feel when they said the Crips is going to uh, kill you? I said, man, that was the headline. But when they said um, they wanted to beat me up, I said, that's great. They're my brothers. They love me. They don't want nothing to happen to you. They just want to be some sense to me. I love Daz. I love the Crips. I love the Bloods. I love everyone. How many people? <laughs> Look at Harvey like, uh, this is going exactly the way I planned it. 
feeling? How many people felt something that I said today? <laughs> Raise a hand if you felt something that I said today. It's Candace uh, Parker? I don't know. I forget, you know. Do you feel that I'm feeling, do, do you feel that I'm being free and I'm thinking free? Yes. Do, do, I actually don't think you're thinking anything. Okay, here I we go. What you're doing right now is actually the absence of thoughts. And the reason why I feel like that, because Kanye, you're entitled to your opinion. You're entitled to believe whatever you want. But there is fact and real world. This is like some real office type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas just disagree in the office. Televised. Real life consequence behind everything that you just said. And while you are making music and being an artist and living the life that you've earned by being a genius, the rest of us in society have to deal with these threats to our mm -hmm. lives. Cops killing unarmed black people. You know what I'm saying? Let's see, let's get into it. We have to deal with the marginalization that has come from the 400 years of slavery that you said for our people was a choice. Thank Every goodness I'm all <laughs> like a motherfucker. Every day we have to walk into that truth while you choose to say things that, to be honest with you, dog, are nonsensical. You want to think freely? That's fine. I'll combat your free thought with my free thought because mine is grounded in a reality that I've been given and a reality that I'm going to change, but I'm not going to do it by pretending that the enemies are on the same team as me. And frankly, I'm disappointed, I'm appalled, and brother, I am unbelievably hurt by the fact that you have morphed into something, mm. to me, that's not real. That's the way I feel. Stand on all the coffee tables you wanna stand on, say whatever you wanna say, but don't throw a stone, then hide your hand like the rest of us are just gonna swallow. Mm. Yay, be yay, I'm off it forever. Do you, but remember, the life that I live is as a real person, mm. an actual person. Now the thing is, he said some, uh, he said grounded in reality. This reality has been forced upon us. It is a choice, just like when I said slavery is a choice. The reality, <laughs> what? reality, we can make our own reality. We can talk about history, but not too long. We need to talk about our now because we can fix and start loving each other now. When I say we have no enemies, we don't have enemies. Black people have a tendency to focus and march when a white person kills a black person or wears a hat. But when it's 700 kids being killed in Chicago, it's okay. All right, Kanye, you know, you know, a lot of people say this, but I heard what he said. The people, the reason they march is because these people that kill these blacks or unarmed blacks or these cops, you know, a lot of them, they walk. You know what I'm saying? That's the only reason why they march. It's okay for blacks to kill blacks, but if it's a white uh, thing, wait, 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 saying that's okay. That's the, wait, 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 There's wait, wait, been stop, more focus stop, stop. and more marches. That is a lie. I had to break that down. They probably gonna break it down, but I hope they do. But I already did. About Yo, don't kill them black. Wait, wait, wait. They're kids in Chicago wait, wait, wait. killing each other. That's a lie. There are black people working. There, there Yo, are no marches. Oh, no. 90% of black a people getting killed that's are a killed by other black people. No, that's Look a fact. The black but there, no, no, is a fact. That is a fact. Black but there, black crime is a fact. But there are black people. Okay, wait a second. Now, this is a problem. We have to, you're too far. You have to be closer to me. I'm here right now. There are black people working every single day. Brother, don't scream because it will make us look crazy. I don't care what we're looking for. This is the talk of No, when you scream, when you scream and you don't talk, it doesn't look. Right. Wait, 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 let me just say something. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me right. point on? this upon you. Okay, this, this is a perfect example of what I'm yeah. talking about because these are two different versions of yeah. somebody else's truth. This is two different versions of somebody else's truth. So he gets up and he's talking to him. Man, I want Farrakhan on there, man. What, what, they gonna put Farrakhan on TMZ to give his opinion? Because <laughs> this seemed like more of a, a um, right wing, you know, a dais, you know. All the guests seem to be right wingers, you know. I don't know if Kanye is a right winger, you know, because he said he likes Obama as well. Right. Okay. I don't. I'm not enslaved, so that it's like I, I don't mean to insult his reality. No, Kanye, come on over. I don't. Come mean to I just want to give him a hug. 
Right, right, like, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, I think, I think he might want to punish me, but I want to give him a hug. Okay. Look at Kanye. So fuck that. These niggas need hugs out here in these streets. <laughs> I love you and I want to give you a hug. I feel like you want to fight me right now, but I love you. I don't I don't fight with my fist, man. I've been through that. This is what I'm saying. So if I come over there, you're not going to fight me? No, I'm not going to hit Kanye West and TMZ. What <laughs> 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 the fuck is this, my nigga? Bro, you got to be responsible, man. Bro, I'm sorry you I gotta, hurt you. You gotta be responsible. Bro. I'm sorry I nah, hurt you, man, bro. bro. Your voice is too big. You I'm sorry I hurt you, bro. bro. I love you, bro. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry I hurt you with my words, bro. Yeah, bro. I love you, bro. Man. Bro, you I, gotta be responsible. I didn't mean. Bro. I didn't mean to say. My words are so powerful, man. I'm so sorry. That... I hurt you. I didn't mean to wear the hat out the blue and shock so many people and not give him a way out of the pain. I understand that that gave him pain. That made him see pain. But guess what? When I went into the hospital. We're now in the hospital. TMZ is the hospital to fix the world. We, uh, Obama was our opioids. It made us feel like everything yeah, was yeah, good. That's not true, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay. First yeah. of all, calm. What, what's, your, what's your name, though? I'm, and I'm, I'm sorry for, for disappointing you, bro. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. Calm. Yeah. What you said up there a second ago, yeah. the statistic of black and black violence is true. What they don't tell you is there are people dedicating their lives to working throughout the problems of black people. There are black people every day, boots on the ground, they're all over the place that are working towards this. Like every single day, people are trying to fix this problem. The narrative that black people don't care about black lives until a white person takes them is false. That is not true. But the problem is, the people that are doing this work in communities every day, guys all over the place, they don't get the type of reverence, they don't get the type of shine, they don't get the type of light spot, spotted on them, the spotlight, should I say, that other people do. Those people are the ones that need to be empowered, the people that can help Chicago, that can help South Baton Rouge, that can help those places, that are working there every day. They doing it and they dedicate their lives to it. But they don't get big up by rappers, they don't get invited to things, they do it for nothing because they have to. So what I'm trying to say is while we have all of these conversations about stuff that gets covered on the news, Who's going to talk about what doesn't get covered on I mean, look, What's going through Kanye's mind right now? Leave it in the comments. <laughs> Leave it in the comments. <laughs> oh, shit. What's going through this nigga's mind right now? <laughs> like, to me, for, for me, for a lot of years, the dude that inspired me to be more than what I was in Baton Rouge, that was you. Ask everybody in this room. Oh, big up, man, from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. You know, hey, we're in New Orleans. Ask everybody in here how many times we've had a Kanye West story and I've stood there the only person to defend Kanye West because of what you meant to me. And then after that, you slapped me in my fucking face by getting next to people who mean me harm and who, are not, who, are, who don't even care about the fact, about being honest about the fact that they mean me harm. I, I think that we have to get next to everyone. If we don't like Trump, we have to talk to them. We have to talk, we have to talk because Trump is a human being also, and he's in a very powerful position, and he's doing a lot of things to actually help business owners be able to go past all these fake laws and rules and things. I mean, Candace can give you the facts better, better than that, but we need to speak to I mean, them. a lot of black people don't like Trump, you know what I'm saying? And the only, I, I feel the only way that Trump will gain favor with black people is that all the these racists or people, they're calling a lot of people that he's high and racist. If after, if he wins the second term, if he fires all of them and say, I just used y'all for political gain. That's the only way that black people start, start fucking with Trump again. In my opinion, you know, but let's continue. People, uh, Einstein says the definite of insanity is doing the same thing, expecting a different result. So we keep on saying, I hate you, I hate you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. How are we gonna get a different result out of hate? Why don't we just try love? Why don't we just try love? Why can't it be okay for an influential rapper in the black community to go up to the president and talk to him about how we can make a change one by one by one? We have the resources for a peaceful world. Uh, uh, 
I, I believe that Kim Jong-un didn't believe that Obama was crazy enough to come <coughs> at him. You know, sometimes you need some crazy motherfuckers to change something. Steve Jobs is crazy. Now we all on Steve Jobs' phones. They say Trump's crazy. They say I'm crazy. Now I know Steve Jobs was a Buddhist, man. Shout out. But I'm here to show love, and we're going to make it through. I know I disappointed you today, brother, and I know I disappointed the black community when I wore the hat, and I'm sorry for disappointing you, but like I just told J. Cole on the phone right now, it's a bigger plan, and I'm just doing what the universe told me. Man, what y'all think, man? I, I, I gave my opinion already throughout the video, all the pause, and I done did. You know, it's... Hey... People got to push their albums, man. Leave comments below. Like and subscribe. Future. Big Nod never off beat. That woman's body is on fleek. Mm. Big Nod going deep. What? Not a bungee and a rope. Back shots made her feel it in her throat. Wow. I simply am the goat.